Hi friends, I am Sai Jathanya. Welcome back to my channel SciTaker. In this video, I will be uh, doing the Jensen Impact uh, gaming test on the POCO F2 Pro device. As you can see friends, right now I am using the POCO F2 Pro. So which has a Snapdragon 865 processor. So uh, recently I did a same kind of Jensen Impact uh, gaming test on the Realme X7 Pro device which has a Dimensity 1000 plus processor. So right now a few of the users, they did ask me to uh, do similar kind of video in the POCO X3 4 uh, X F, F2 Pro device trying the same uh, kind of uh, game so as you can see right now I'm using the POCO F2 Pro which is a Snapdragon 7, 865 and uh, this is a Jensen Impact game and I did enable the real-time FPS count meter so which will be helping you a lot in terms of seeing the exact FPS how much you are getting while you are uh, playing the game and this is a live wallpaper which I uh, recently started to use and I did a video on that one as well so make sure to check the links in description there will be a playlist for the wallpapers and each and every smartphone playlist as well so do check the links for more in detail reviews on the poco f2 pro and other latest smartphones in my channel so let me try to quickly open the gameplay here so uh the poco f2 pro is very powerful uh mobile phone which has snapdragon 865 as i said the phone is pretty much capable of handling uh, most of the high-end mobile phone gaming without any problem so the phone uh, display has a 60 hertz refresh rate only not the 120 hertz so that's another uh, drawback as you can see friends right now i did uh, open the game and you can see the real time fps count meter how much it's uh, displaying up there as you can see it's displaying up to uh, 39 30 fps so this with the normal or uh, medium settings so not with the high settings so till now i did not use the high settings so there is also option to use the high settings as well but i just want to try first with the normal settings and then i'll try to choose the high settings as well so we can compare the graphics and everything so everything looks uh, smooth the animations uh, even while uh, moving here and there so i didn't feel uh, much lag or any any kind of delay i did not even notice nothing so it was a uh, very good performing this kind of uh, gaming here in the poco f2 pro which is running uh, absolutely fine without any issues As you can see the frame rates are not even dropping at all so overall it's trying to maintain a uh, very good frame rates without any issues so there's a, just a small drop right now and let me try to quickly uh, show you the settings what i'm exactly using so these are graphic settings which i'm trying to use right now so let me try to quickly jump to the 60 uh, 60 fps as you can see here and um 60 fps i just selected 60 fps so i'll try to continue the game and later on again i'll try to increase the uh, settings to the maximum as you can see friends right now the fps count is also it's maintaining close to that 60 fps only without any issues as you can see friends the graphics 59 fps So overall uh, there is not even single uh, delay while playing this Genshin Impact game with the uh, 60 FPS. So you can see the 59 FPS the frame rates are at right now. As you can see friends right now there is not much delay. The gameplay is really good. I did like the gameplay in this uh, Fortnite in the Poco F2 Pro mobile phone, which is uh, really good. You can see the 
footsteps sounds clearly so now let me try to uh, select the high graphics uh, settings everything set to the maximum as you can see friends everything i'm saying to select to the highest point only extreme high as you can see everything is set to the highest point so let's see how well the game can actually handle right now with the highest uh, settings I think the phone is uh, pretty much capable of handling this kind of high uh, settings as well. It's trying to still show you that at the uh, 60 FPS only, even while using the high uh, settings. So, our friends, even with the high uh, settings, there is not even single problem with the. Poco F2 Pro, the phone is very much capable of handling uh, this kind of intense games without any lag. It does feel a uh, lack of having the not having higher refresh rate uh, display that is another uh, drawback. So if the phone has uh, the higher refresh rate at least the 90 hertz, that would be pretty much a perfect mobile phone with a full screen and having this kind of 90 hertz or 120 hertz be the really good option So phone does feel uh, slightly heat on the back side after playing this game for about I think close to 10 minutes and uh, this is a quick uh, gameplay of the Genshin Impact in the Poco F2 Pro. So uh, the phone is pretty much capable of handling 60 FPS without any uh, lag or any kind of delay. So it's very very, very smooth. And thank you for watching this video friends. For more of this kind of videos make sure to follow me regularly and see you in the next video. Don't forget to check the links in the description for more playlist videos. and. Uh, Bye.